Today is Sunday, the 12th of August 2018. This is one of a series of videos on the latest version of Health One, version 8.6, which is being released shortly. And this particular video, we're going to talk about some things that you can do with the transaction that you have open. And they are, we can, you can delete all comments in a transaction. So that is the all, all the items called comments and their contents. This might be useful uh, in, for example, lab results where they have a lot of comments in there and you sometimes can't see the actual lab results for all the comments. This is new to 8.6. The second one I will show you is how to delete empty items in a transaction. This feature has been there already, but I'm just going to briefly show it to you today. I'm going to show you how to reorder items in an admin transaction or any other transaction to that of a sequence. In other words, to make all the items in a particular transaction neater so you can follow it uh, much more easily. I'm also going to show you a new view in Health One, uh, which is related to, to the general data protection regulations, and we call it social control. And that is whereby anyone who opens a patient file can immediately see who else has been opened the file recently. So I'm going to start with the first of these, delete all comments. So I have a patient file open here with some lab results in it. And as you can see, uh, there's a lot of comments in this file, uh, as well as the actual results. If you double click on any of these uh, blue ones here, you will see that the contents are actually inserted into an item called comment and that's true for all of these comments so you can in one go right click anywhere on the transaction details go three quarters of the way down and delete comments this line here delete comments is new in version 8.6 so if I delete it then I've deleted six comments and as you can see the results are that bit easier to read. Likewise, if I go up here for the B12, which is 153, but there's other stuff in here which I don't want to see every time. So I can right click, delete empty items. Uh, uh, oh, I deleted empty items, sorry, I should have been deleting comments. And the next one is cholesterol values. So it gives you the cholesterol target value triglyceride target value, HDL, male and stuff like that. I can right click if I want to and delete comments. Obviously you have to be very careful when you do this. You don't want to delete uh, very important information. But it can be useful so that you, when you're looking at the file you see the important stuff. The second thing I want to show you here is deleting empty items in a transaction. If you go back to the same file and you go to the last consultation, you will see that there's lots of items in here that are actually empty. This is very common uh, when you use a sequence, uh, but you don't enter stuff into only three quarters of it. You can right click anywhere in the consultation details, go again three quarters of the way down and delete empty items. And that will delete uh, all the empty items in that transaction and make it more useful. This is particularly useful in the admin transaction where you have often got lots and lots of uh, empty items that you don't really want. Again, sometimes you will want to have empty items and add them in later. If you want uh, these empty items to be deleted automatically when you save the patient file rather than you doing it, you can do this by clicking on Tools, options and three quarters of the way down the general list of options you have here uh, delete empty items so that means that every time for every patient when you do a consultation and you save the consultation uh, then if there are any empty items they will automatically be deleted for any patient this will happen except in the administrative file and the basic medical file because it is often the case that in the administrative file you have items that you want to fill in later that you haven't got the information for now. So you can do that for, for all patients uh, by ticking on that button. So that is delete empty items. 
The next thing I want to show you is how to reorder items in, in a sequence, such in a transaction, such that they are neater and easier to view. So if we go back to the same patient and I go up to the administrative file, you will see in this case that his first name is here and his surname is here, his patient category is here and his GMS number is here, it is kind of all over the place. So if I right click on that, and I go down and say reorder items again down here in this section reorder items they will be reordered into a more sensible order and that order is determined by the sequence which first created the items so if you prefer to see items in a different order then you need to change the sequence itself so that is reordering items to make them neater so that you'll be always be viewing uh, the surname here and the first name here or the, you'll see the patient category and the genus number next to each other and stuff like that so the last thing in this video I want to talk to you about is social control this is a general data protection regulation item whereby as I said before uh, you can uh, view anybody who has previously seen the file recently so I open the same patient file up on the top left in my case I have a tab here which is the audit view and if I click on that I will see the different people who have had access recently to this file so I, the doctors the diabetic nurse and the secretary have already looked at this file today I'm aware of that and they're aware that I'm aware of that and that will be make people more wary of having a sneaky look at a patient file it must be said though that in 99% of cases other people looking at the patient file is, a, is absolutely legitimate. So I'm now going to show you how you will uh, install this view because it's not there by default. So I'm going to open the patient file without any view. Now I have reopened this patient file and there is no uh, social control or audit view. How to implement this? What you do is you click on this button up on the top here called Select View from List. So if you click on that, you will see the various views that are available to you. You click on New Interactive View. And you must pick Interactive View, not Canvas. And when you do that, you can call the view whatever you like. I'm going to call it uh, Audit and you click on this three little dots down here to open the file that we have distributed for everyone and all you have to do then is click on the audit one click open and you have that will automatically populate the view for you if I then click on automatically start then whenever I open any patient file this view will become visible so I click OK now and the view is in here it's going to automatically start I close the patient file and I reopen the patient file and lo and behold I have a view in this case immediately visible over here normally when you open the view the first time it's not over here it is normally over on the other side and you can configure this by right clicking anywhere in the view and going to config and it says down here in the bottom dock to the left the default will be dock to the right hand side so when you first install this it will be over here and that's fine so you see that these users have accessed this file they don't have had, ha, they don't have to have made any changes they just have to have viewed it but if i want this view to remain here i just leave it like that but if i would rather it over here which i do i'd right click and go to config and in the config I would change the docking to the left hand side of the HCR click OK and then it's more over here and it's uh, just with all the other views so in this video to summarize we have covered some changes we have in Health 1 version 8.6 and some old things as well We've shown you how to delete all comments in a transaction if you want to, that is the item called comments 
and delete all empty items in a transaction. We've shown you how to reorder items in a transaction so that they're neater and tidier per a sequence that you've created. And we've shown you um, a little tool whereby you can, and everybody in the practice can see who has been opening and looking at files recently. That's the end of this recording. Thank you very much.